You're listening to The Morning Den, 105.5 Hits FM, the new voice in Durham. Joined right now by Tamara Petra. Oh, oh Petru, sorry. I always, well, I always say Petrov. I always want to say that. You know what? A Petru. lot of people, a lot of people say Petrov, Petrov. They want to think it's Russian. Right. And you know, that, that's what it was. We were just talking about Ukrainians and my family's Ukrainian. That's what it is. That's right. I'm yeah. going to chalk it up to that. How that's that? right. That's right. Uh, Petru is actually Greek, though. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Other than that, it was uh, it was perfect. Uh, um, we've been doing a uh, segment that we call our, um, well, actually, we're going to try and rename it, but uh, it's our good news segment. Uh, and you've been very busy, uh, really, we talked about this yesterday, connecting people and some of those stories that are in the community that we would not necessarily know about, but are, are real great stories. And one we want to talk about today is Exploring Horizons, a nonprofit group founded three years ago by Alicia and Natasha Nanji of uh, Uxbridge. They were only 16 years old at the time. Um, and what they are looking to do is engage seniors in the community. Uh, through monthly fun-filled sessions to activate the uh, the mind and the body, and uh, you, uh, you've talked about um, you talked to them, and they talked about things like chair yoga, guest speakers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, what did you find in, in talking to them and, and their impetus in doing this? Well, Exploring Horizons was really a, one, a wonderful program from, from what they told me. What was interesting is that they were inspired to create this super positive program for seniors, and that involves teen by actually a very negative event that they had when they were volunteering three years ago at a senior's home. They witnessed an incident where a senior was spoken down to by a staff member and that really impacted them, Dan. They were quite stunned and they felt very helpless. So they decided, hey, we're gonna create something that empowers seniors and they empowered themselves by creating this program, Exploring Horizons. And uh, Alicia told me a little bit about the values that guide the program. So at Exploring Horizons, all of the youth that come in to volunteer, the professionals, as well as both Natasha and myself, we come in with an attitude that it's, it's a mutual respect. We're both of equal value, both the seniors that participate and us. We all have equal things to share and we'd love, we learn as much as they, we learn as much from the seniors as we try to teach them and they teach us as much. It's a mutual reciprocal relationship. And you know, and think this is all free too. So they're doing this for free. Yeah. Um, what a great attitude. It's a great attitude, doing it for free because they work their butts off getting sponsors and supporters in the local community, volunteers, they are volunteers. So, yeah, it's a great free program that also engages the youth as well as seniors. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, talk about the youth a bit. Yeah, the youth, well, they're all volunteers. They're from their local high schools. And basically the girls just spread the word through their friends. And uh, and they were really excited. And this is this is what Alicia had to say. Some of the teens told her about the experience. We get positive feedback from the youth being there saying like, oh, we love spending the day here. We usually don't, um, for example, we heard one youth coordinator say we usually don't like spend time with my grandparents. So this is such a reminder for me to spend time with them by like volunteering here. And we also heard like mind things from the seniors that come saying, oh, we usually don't spend time with our granddaughters or grandsons. So this is great, like interacting with such a young generation. I usually don't interact with them on a daily basis. How old are they? Well, there's a real big age range, actually, just among the seniors. So they told me that 65 years old is the youngest skew, and the oldest is 103. A wow. really neat story, too. The 103-year-old comes every single month. They have the girls take a picture of, of her to say, just in case I'm not back. But this is a big life event for her, right? Every month she celebrates with them. So it's pretty cool. And, of course, the volunteers are all teens, so teenagers. And uh, it's interesting because despite the huge age gap, they actually do have things in common, things like pets or sports. And then there's other things that they don't have in common and that they share with each other. So at one of our sessions, we had a very cool talent show where we got to see talents both by the youth and the seniors. And it was really interesting. One of the seniors actually said she's been playing the accordion for over 70 years. So it was very cool to see that. Well, when I heard that anecdote, that's something that really resonated with me because my grandfather had an accordion and sadly, I never I never saw him play it. It was always in the attic collecting dust. And I thought, geez, how amazing they have this forum where someone decides to pick up the accordion and play for a bunch of people who maybe a generation who's never heard and before. And maybe play it for the first time in years because they have a reason to play it. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's absolutely great. Now, how many people usually attend and has, has this thing started to, to take off? 
Well, it has. And actually, Alicia and Natasha were even pleased with the initial response three years ago. They said they were jumping up and down and clapping in their in their living room um, when they got their first attendee. The first session had 13 attendees. And now regularly, there's about 25 to 30 each time. So, I mean, that, that's a lot of people. It's a good group. And then plus teens, plus volunteers who keep coming back. Right. So they, they still are back. Uh, this year, the, the girls are actually off at university, which makes it kind of tough. I mean, here it is. You're running a business. Now you have to find people to actually employ to run your business and do it the way you want to do it. That's exactly it. And and run a business, so to speak, for free, right? Um, but the great thing about Natasha and Alicia, the impression I got from them is, and really volunteering is their biggest passion, and that's contagious. So really they inspired their, their group of teens who they're working with, and they were quick to give compliments to their, their group of teen volunteers saying they're doing a fantastic job. And they said, we're going to take this on. We're going to keep this going while you're gone. And it's a real collaborative approach. So even though they're not there, they're bringing the new teens are bringing in their ideas, um, recruiting speakers and, and putting their spit on things and, and really carrying the program. And they've received amazing compliments from the attendees. And I think that's really heartwarming to them. And uh, Alicia shared one of one of the comments from the attendees. There was another participant who also said that this is one of the best things that have, has ever happened to Uxbridge. And just hearing that it melted both Natasha and my heart saying, like, we're so thankful and grateful that, like, they enjoy the day and they like exploring Horizons as much as we like putting our time and effort into it. That's great. Um, now, obviously, they are putting a lot of time and effort into this. And uh, they are sacrificing uh, to to volunteer and finding the guest speakers, et cetera, et cetera, and the sponsors. That's, mm -hmm. that's very difficult. It is. It is. And at someone at such a, a young age doing that, you know, and one of the things they sacrificed was actually soccer. They told me they stopped playing soccer because, you know, what they're doing is taking a lot of time. Um, but they've learned a lot. And I think that was something, a lesson that they learned um, really came out of this. And Natasha shared shared with me the lesson. I feel that before starting Exploring Horizons, I thought, oh, I'm only 16 years old. Like, no one's going to listen to me. No one's going to show up to a program. And now, three years later, I'm like, wow, you're not too young to start anything. Okay. This is, I mean, this is a great program. And I, what I love is linking the seniors and, and the youth to understand that there are commonalities that people wouldn't necessarily see. Um, when uh, or how can people get involved if they, they hear this and they're interested, whether it's youth or, or seniors? How do they get involved or, or if somebody wants to sponsor and help this out? Um, well, they can do it, actually. They can register, volunteer or sponsor by going to the website. Again, this is a very professional nonprofit group and you can go to exploringhorizons.ca. They have a really polished website, great videos, too, to show you a little bit more about what Exploring Horizons is about. And they have uh, wonderful coordinators like Emily, who is taking registrations by phone. And her phone number is 416-529-6867. Now, if you want to go to the next one, this Saturday is the next one. And it's featuring uh, a theme of Kickstart to 2016. And there's a health and wellness talk focused on healthy recipes. So that's definitely going to attract a lot of people. And, of course, they always do a light workout. There'll be bingo raffles. It's really going to be a lot of fun. And it's held at 29 Toronto Street in Oxbridge. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. V2 Bond, Dental Centers, Impact Ventures, uh, Toronto Street Medical Center, Pharmasave, Blue Heron Books, Vitality Yoga and Lifestyle Boutique, and uh, 29 Toronto Street Medical Building as well. All part of those volunteers who are, are, are actually sponsors who have stepped up to help this program uh, become a reality. Thank you very much for telling a, a, us about this. Again, another great good news story out there in our community. Great. Thank you. That is uh, Tamara Petru. See? Just give me time. I'll get it right. Let's check traffic. The Commute Traffic on 105.5.